Okay then, well we've got to draw a tree diagram for this question and I've already started it, okay, you should have something looking like this. Uh, I've titled uh, each of these two trials here, the first section here is on the person having the disease and this trial here is about the test results. Well first of all then, we know that the disease is known to be present in 2% of the population. So we can fill these branches in very easily because we can just say that the probability that someone has the disease, we'll call it D for disease, we know is 0.02. 2% chance then. Knowing that these two branches must add up to 1, we can say that the probability that someone doesn't have the disease and you could write a little bar over the top there, what is often called the complement of the set or the not situation, so the person does not have the disease, that's going to be 0 0.98, okay? 98% chance. Now so the next bit we've got to be careful about. Here it says that given that a person has the disease, the test is positive with a probability of 0 0.95. So we know then that if a person has the disease, we know that we're given that they have the disease, so we have a line here for given, that it tests positive, okay, I'm going to put a plus there, it's positive given that they have the disease, well we're told that that's 0 0.95. So these two branches must add up to one, so the probability that it's not positive, or you might as well say negative, given that they had the disease, well that's got to be 1 minus 0.95, which is going to be 0.05. So that's that one done. And a similar idea is going to follow with this one. Given that a person does not have the disease, the test is positive with a probability of 0.03. Well, this is someone not having the disease, so the probability that they test positive, okay, given that they do not have the disease, alright, is 0.03. So that's 0.03. And so we can fill in this next branch then the probability that a person tests negative given that they do not have the disease. Well that's got to be 1 minus 0.03 and so that gives us 0.97. So I would encourage you to draw a tree diagram something like that, okay? And uh, we've got the correct notation here, the conditional probability notation on these branches being used. Alright, so there you go.